Hello friends, I gotta admit that this is going great for me, I hope it's going just as great for you. I've never had this much fun doing <laughs> mass balance problems. Uh, anyway, so we're doing number 10 from chapter 4, we're getting somewhere here. So, again, I encourage you to pause the video and check it out, here we got ethanol. Hmm, if you're not 21, I'm watching you no, I'm just playing. Anyway, so we got ethanol and water mixture, and uh, this is a very typical example of something that might be done in lab. It's kind of like converting the concentrations and getting the appropriate solution of an exact mixture you want. So, as usual, pause the video and try it out yourself. Remember the principles of mass balance. If this is your first time watching my videos, welcome. I really like to encourage problem solving individually at first so you can work it out. Alright, three, two, one. So, first thing I like to do is just Describe, okay, we have 300 gallons of the mixture coming in, all right? Did you read the problem, first of all? Read the problem by yourself. Then, uh, we have, let's see, we can fill out some more things. So this is 75% by weight ethanol, 25% weight by water, and the specific gravity is given, 0.867. And uh, let's see, another mixture, hmm, they called it V40. But wait a second, if we're doing mass balance, well, isn't that peculiar? Well, uh, there's volume, but there's no mass. But for the second quantity, is not really given, so it's an unknown. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna call V40 what they called it. I'm just gonna call it V2 for simplicity, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start writing some other variables because it's kind of weird that uh, they gave us some volumes but nothing about mass yet. Specific gravity might be a hint. So filling this out again: 0.4 kilograms of ethanol per kilograms of mixture, 0.6 kilograms of water. The specific gravity is given here as well. And, well, we want to mix this to produce a final concentration of 60 weight percent ethanol. Alright, so there's seems like there's a, quite a few unknowns here. But here's our overall process diagram. Well, again, if you, uh, if you didn't get this far, for me, this is generally the hardest step. So pause it and try again if you, if you got stuck before. Seriously, I really think that's a pretty efficient way of studying. All right, so now we can do the oh my god the uh, <laughs> mass balance right because we can add the volume one here coming in volume two and volume three right <laughs> wrong so this is the mass balance okay not the volume balance so please don't set the volumes equal to each other why because mass and moles are conserved okay that's the conservation of mass volume is not conserved because Remember, from general chemistry and organic chemistry, the molecules are bouncing around. The, uh, the density is not going to be consistent, uh, per se. So, please always convert into mass balance. So, I skipped the chapter 3 videos in terms of describing what specific gravity is. I don't know if you guys want me to go back to them, because I feel like it's a little tedious, and I think the, the bulk of this course is chapter 4, mass balances. Anyway, the definition of specific gravity is the density of the substance you're looking at with respect to the density of a reference, which is going to be water, which is one gram per centimeter cubed or a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. So if you do the math, you can multiply the specific gravity by a thousand to get the density in terms of kilograms per meter cubed. And so we can calculate, get, get, get away from here, Chase. So we can calculate everything in terms of densities. We can turn it into mass, right? So if you know the volume and you know the density, Convert it into mass. And if you don't know this conversion factor, do go ahead and review chapter two, because chapter two is the fundamentals of the fundamentals. And if you're not comfortable with the fundamentals of the fundamentals, you're probably going to have a harder time with the fundamentals, which is chapter four of this class. And so similarly, uh, well, we can kind of do it here, but we don't know any values, but we can keep that in mind. But anyway, the point is now we have M1, M2, and M3. We can replace this. Now we can do the mass balance in terms of the mass. Okay, so the O M B, not the O M G, is going to be M one plus M two is equal to M three, right? And we know M one. We can do the ethanol balance. We got our first equation. We can do the ethanol balance, or we can do water. It's pretty arbitrary, remember? Because if you have the summation of the mole fractions, you can solve for the other one. Uh, I hope you understand that because that's going to come back to bite us in the butt later. So, 0.75 times the mass of the first one, plus 0.4 times the mass of the second one, is equal to what we have before. 
Uh, this is supposed to be... I think I, I miss, miss... This is a typo, my bad here, y'all. So, um, this should be right, though. This should be right. So this is going to be the uh, equation. We'll plug it in. So we have one equation for the overall mass balance. Second equation for the ethanol balance. Great. Now, we need to solve for M2 to solve for M4, uh, V40, which is this guy. And remember, I'm just using this notation. It's the same equation, though. All right, so now we have a system of two equations and two unknowns. What time is it? It's algebra time. And the degrees of freedom. So we have two equations and two unknowns. And all you have to do is subtract the number of equations and number of unknowns to get zero. And if it's zero, that means we can solve for it algebraically. It's non-zero, and something's wrong. Quickly going through the algebra, you can simplify and solve for M2. Distribution, factoring, and we get M2. Now, we have M2 in terms of the kilograms, but they want us to solve for the volume. And using the same principle and the same conversion factor, we get an answer of 207 gallons in the volume 40. Great. So we are done. We are actually done. That is the answer. So notice how we didn't really need to know much about stream 3. Um, but I really, really, I highly, highly, highly recommend you to check out the mass balances and try to check everything that kind of sums up. They should always work out, the mass balance, all right? I really want you to check that for me and see if everything adds up, all right? Thanks for watching. As usual, click to get to the playlist and check out my website. I also have the slides in the description. And please leave a comment and subscribe and share this. Hopefully, y'all doing all right. Um, don't stress too hard. I think you guys are, uh, guys and gals are doing great. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and your dog.